that's opium. That's an opium cigar. So, uh, welcome to the pilot. Oh, fuck's sake. So this is what we have on the agenda today. What are the five most epic shine sprites in Super Mario Sunshine? That's right, how do you take the 120 shine sprites in the game and boil it down to the most epic five? Well, don't worry about it. I already did it. And we're gonna go through these shine sprites, first through the eyes of a dimwit who just doesn't know what he's doing, and then, as a duke who, let's just say, knows what he's doing. All right, let's do this. Flick on the plasma screen. Rico Harbor has a giant cage shaped like a conical flask, and Mario needs to climb to the top of the funny fishing apparatus in order to slip through the hole at the top. A shine sprite like this requires a level of cunning and a sharp familiarity with the Mario Sunshine jumping mechanics. So, let's see what this doesn't look like. Bring on the dimwit. Okay, that looks like a very tall cage. It appears that we can't access this boat, but we can access this one. <laughs> Luckily, I can grab onto these poles, or else I'd be in a real bind. Oh shit! Oh, close call. Perfect, an elevator. This will bring me to the next floor, but from here, I don't know how to progress. True, I can only think of five ways to get up there. <laughs> Aha! More poles! Gadzooks, he's almost done it. Come on, almost there. Oh fuck! Watch out for the ghosts! I did it! Okay, well done to the dimwit who managed to reach the top of the cage. Beautiful to see. But uh, now let's bring on the duck. So let's see, he can't go on this boat because there's no ramp. What? No way! How has he done that? But so what? How is being on this boat even useful? See, now he's stuck. Ah, oh, no! Nah. Mario! Now just get across this guy. And the rest is child's play. Beautiful display by the Duke. Mind blown. My mind has exploded. Look at this. It's a painting of old Kyoto in Japan. It's fucking great. The artist is Evgeny Lushpin. Love it. Throughout the game, you'll have to deal with Shadow Mario's naughty antics. He decides to wreak havoc on Isle Delfino by spraying paint around the place. But in this particular instance, he decides to just take it a step further and drench an entire village in this fiery goop. And what's more is that Mario does not get to use Flood. So yeah, this is a real AGDQ MLG premise. But uh, first... Bring on the dimwit! Oh, yes! Ghosted! Well, clearly I can't go this way. Looks like I'll have to find a better route. Looks like I'll have to go inside this hole. Oh boy! Looks like the dimwit found the underside. In the underside, there's a lot of scary dudes. And I just can't decide if I wanna go through. And yep, see, they put these convenient clear bits here for all the babies. For all the dimwits. I found the flood! Wait! But can he climb onto the golden mushroom? Nice work. Bring on the Duke! Okay, so here we are back at this bit. What's he doing? What? Nah! 
Okay, he's up the tree, but how the fuck is that supposed to help him reach the golden mushroom? He has nowhere to go. Mario, no! Words that kill. Are you a dude? Are you a dude? Things that were never thought possible are being done before your very eyes. Oh, is it rolling? <laughs> so that was a. Uh... That was a show. How can we top that? Well, we got more shinies. We got more shinies to show you. Isn't that right, ladies? Yep. This guy is a tough cookie if you don't seriously know how to use the flood. The fact that he multiplies means that he can very quickly become an overwhelming foe. Particularly to the dimwit. Bring him on! This big manta ray is no match for my flood. Taste the rainbow. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Help me! Help me! Ah! Anyone got a chud? I think I'm really starting to get the hang of it now. Whoa! Okay, thank fuck. He found a hood. He found a safety hood. I don't know why, but this was a safe place when the goop fell. Because it has a roof, you dumb slug. Oh shit. Looks like this is the final phase of the deal. Do you think he'll even fucking win? It's hard to call it. Oh fuck, dimwit. Oh fuck, dimwit. Don't die on me! Yes! Penny! This is all I'll need for this last batch of cooks. <laughs> Fucking big well done to the dimwit for defeating the mantas. Now, uh, where's the, uh, oh, thanks. Let's duke it out, cunts. See, so look at that. Aim high and it travels further. It's Newton. It's Newtonian mechanics. Oh, what is that? Shit! They can't even touch him! Here's the purple bit. Just look at this. He's running it. He's running the show. He's just walking up and down. There's nothing even dangerous about that. <laughs> yeah, it's called a Fattington. It's an enemy from Wario World. One of the best pieces of my collection. Okay, I get it. Stylish spraying is fun and all. But nothing beats some good old acrobatic platforming. Oh, well, I got just one. So in Naki Bay, there's these things on the wall you can spray that open up secret passages. So, uh, hmm, I think you know the drill. Mustard a dimwit. Okay, my best bet is probably to swim there. Oof! First mistake. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no. It's horrifying to watch, honestly. Nice shot. Damn it. Damn it. If you enjoy seeing the dimwit making a fucking fool of himself, subscribe to the Finimo. Yes. That's one fucking way to do it. And there it is. Brilliant work from the dimwit. Ho! Oh! How is the duke do it? He's going the wrong way. What is he thinking? It's classy. I wouldn't say otherwise. But what's he planning? Okay. Okay. Nah, that's an impossible jump. I swear if someone did that an awesome game was done quick, the audience would clap. And there it is. Okay. Darkness falls on another day. And the light just seems so far away. Oh, so cool. 
So number fucking one. What's the most epic shine sprite in Super Mario Sunshine? Roll it! There is a competition to see who can produce the biggest watermelon. Okay, dimwit, let's see it. Okay, here's my watermelon. I spent all year watering it, and look how big it got. Fucking hell, dimwit. That's not even bad. It looks pretty good compared to the other ones. It's true. He's got the biggest one there. Oh, no, no, no. I guess I'll have to choose one of those three over there. What? How's that fair? It's visibly larger than the other ones. You can see it. Dimwit didn't fucking deserve that. The only way we can rectify this is if the Duke shows up with a watermelon so big that this bloke cannot even hide his fear. Oh my fucking lord, that is a big bastard watermelon. Whoa! <laughs> Yoink! God, that was a big fucking watermelon. Anyway, let's wrap this up. You have been watching The Definimo Show. I may never do this again, really depends. Uh, see you on the underside. Oh, would you look at the time?